Today we're going to check the pressure switches on this furnace. Uh, there is the uh, high heat pressure switch and the low heat. And uh, the low heat is 0.3 inches of water column. And the high heat pressure switch is 0.78 inches of water column. And that's listed right on the label on these ones. If it's not, you'd have to look it up for that furnace. So the way we're going to test it today is uh, we're going to use the AAB SPM 100 manometer, which uh, Bluetooths to uh, an app you download on your phone. And we're going to use our multimeter. And we're going to check for when the switch is closed. So for today's purposes and to keep the furnace running, we've disconnected from the, uh, the board. And uh, we're going to check the high heat, put our multimeter on there, uh, that'll tell us uh, when the pressure switch closes. Now to check for the pressure, and we want to creep up on it, not just have it go all at once, because it's, uh, it's too difficult to watch two meters at once to see the precise moment the switch closes. So, got a way here to creep up on that. So. Uh, our first connection will be uh, inside here so we get vacuum when the inducer fan runs uh, then we go to our valve uh, from there we tee off to the ABM AAB 100 all right and then we're going to connect to our pressure switch okay and uh, once the inducer fan starts, we will slowly open this up and uh, take our reading. Now before we start, we're going to calibrate our meter. And then we're going to select take a reading. Okay, and we're going to be looking at the inches of water column here. And uh, listen for this when it closes. So we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, the furnace is calling for high heat. All right, so when the inducer fan starts running, I will slowly start opening this uh, needle valve. And as we do so, we'll look down at our readings down here. We're going to see when that pressure switch closes. Should be around 0.78 inches of water column. Uh, we're going to go past it, and more importantly, and we want to drop out and have that switch open within 10% of its rating. And that's what we'll be looking for. So we'll hear the beep of the multimeter uh, when we have uh, closed. So now we're opening up. Kind of go faster here to get it open. We're just slowly opening. the beep we closed at 0.81 inches all right and now let's uh, keep an eye on that reading getting a little closer all right now let's bring it back down slowly you can hear the tone of the multimeter that it's closed let's see when it drops out And there we had our dropout, right about the right moment. And again, just to show our setup here, we're going from the vacuum from the inducer fan. Uh, to our gate valve, the T, which goes over to the AAB SPM 100. 
uh, after the T and go back up to the pressure switch. And we can check the other pressure switch just the same way.